You mean to tell me that Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, got on that cross, was crucified, was spat on, was cussed out, was talked about, was mocked and all this type of stuff, was pierced in his side to only tell a certain culture that they was going to be the only ones that was going to be accepted? You mean to tell me that God took his time to make all these different cultures and races and ethnicities and all this type of stuff to tell white people that they can't make it in heaven because of the because of their race? I can throw that God in the trash because I don't want him. Y'all that's out here listening to these Hebrew Israelites, please stop. They absolutely have no biblical understanding of the word of God. They are living in the Old Testament. They choose to live by the law. That's their prerogative. When the Bible says that any man that breaks one law has broke them all, they obviously don't read the New Testament. Um, they love twisting scripture to make it mean what they want it to mean. This has been one, a group that has disrespected salvation, has disrespected what God wants to do, what his plan is and what he has done um, to tell a culture that they can't come into heaven because they don't look like them. Any man that accepts the Lord Jesus Christ, any man that chooses to follow the ways of Jesus belongs to Jesus. I don't care if you're white. I don't care if you're black. I don't care if you're Mexican. I don't care if you're purple. I don't care if you look like collard greens. If you choose Jesus, you belong to Jesus. It ain't your race that's going to get you into heaven. It's your heart that's going to get you into heaven. And for all y'all Hebrew Israelites, I don't care if y'all the Hebrew Israelites or not. I don't get into stuff like that. But for all of y'all that's out here preaching this false message and telling white people and whatever, whoever people you don't believe that can be accepted by God. If you continue to keep doing that and it's, and it's your last day and you stand before God, I guarantee you will not make it in. How dare you disrespect the gospel of Jesus Christ? How dare you disrespect God's plan? How dare you tell people that they cannot be accepted and God doesn't want them and they, they are not God's children simply because of the way they look and the race that they had no absolute control over to be in. This has to be the one of the most stupidest belief systems, demonic cults I have ever seen in my life. Y- y'all worse than some of these other false doctrines that's going around in the body of Christ. I honestly believe that some Hebrew Israelites, y'all don't know who y'all really are. You depending on your race and your culture and all this type of stuff and what you think the Bible says you are, you really don't know who you are. You really don't belong to God at all. You're not God's children. You're the children of the enemy. Stop preaching this false stuff. Those who accept Jesus Christ belong to Jesus. I don't care what you look like. You belong to God if you accept Jesus. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Shemi Shah by Shemi Kakurash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who the only cause God. In his name in Hebrew means he exists, and Yahweh Shah's name is the only begotten Son, who bore our earthly God, Jesus Christ. In his name in Hebrew means he is delivered by Shemesh in the name, Rekha Kodash, the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings unto the sin shock and let's push forward in the truth that the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom to your brothers and keep pushing. And a double shalom to the Israelites that's looking like the other nations and just share with you. I want to say shalom to you, brothers and sisters as well. My name is Devoir from the GMS Learn St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back at it with another video. And in this video, I'm entitled this The Lord Only Came for the Israelites. The Lord Only Came for the Israelites, right? So you got this video of this so called black woman, as usual running her damn mouth, thinking that she know everything, and voicing her opinion, you know. And the scripture says the total opposite. Many are deceived by the own vain opinion. You know, uh, number one, you, you a woman. You're not even supposed to be teaching and, and all that. And number uh, two, you're saying false things, right? So that's how we know that this is the truth, because, you know, you got people that are steady trying to come up against it. Why? Because it's a strike of nerve, and these people's uh, belief system. Hey, this is the worst belief system I ever heard in my life. You know, the only reason why you would say something like that is because you a damn demon. Okay? And this woman is part of the, the two-thirds club. The Lord is not going to say this woman. This woman is done. It's finished. Okay? And out of, like, out of all the 
the doctors on earth, you know, just the Hebrew Israelites, they're just the worst one. Like, get the hell out of here. You got Hamite to it that are sticking their head up horse's ass, cow's ass, and you ain't talking about them. But yeah, the, the Israelites are a bunch of so called black, Hispanic, Native American men. Mainly the so called black man, because that's how the majority of the tribes look, you know, so called Negro. Okay. Um, they those niggas think they're special. Hey, hey, well, guess what? You are your father, the devil. You know, and Eve, she always been of her father, the devil. Okay. The so called white man is the only man on the planet that this so called black woman respect. Okay. Because um, hey, we get it the worst. As Israelite man, okay, but yeah, this woman just needs to shut her mouth. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's just yapping at the mouth, telling some throw that guy in the trash. The Lord is gonna throw your black ass in the trash. All right, the Lord looks at you as trash. Okay, if you're not a part of His elect, the Lord looks at you as trash. Okay, but without further ado, I'm going to hop into some scriptures. Let's be edifying. So let's start off with Matthew 1 and 21. And it reads, And she shall bring forth his son, and thou shalt call his name, it says Jesus, but Yahweh Shai. Okay? For he shall save his people from their sins. Right? So who is the Lord's people? The Israelites. Okay? The Lord himself was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. It's that simple. But yet, some way, some, somehow, um, that's what it all boils down to is saving Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Hey, the white man did a number on our people, man. And when you look at uh, as as lost souls like this, you know, because that's what it's all about. He literally made a religion that worships him, you know, that shows himself that he is God. All right. According to Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. But now we know who he, now we know who the devil is. We know that he's a uh, uh, false Inside and out. Okay. So this is Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in the Mashiach, I like not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continuous sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were cursed from a Mashiach for my brother and my kinsmen, according to the flesh, right? So according to the flesh. Okay. So according to the flesh and then according to the spirit, who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. Right. So who are Israelites? OK, it didn't say Edomites. It didn't say Moabites. It didn't say Ishmaelites. It didn't say um, uh, Ammonites. It didn't say Hamites. It said Israelites, so-called black, Spanish, and Native Americans. It says to whom pertained the adoption, because these Christians are always tell about some year of Gentiles adopted in, adopted in, Gentiles, Gentiles, Gentiles. Right? So the Gentiles are Israelites. That was in a uh, Gentile state of mind. They lost their way. That's what it's all about. Tell us some of the Israelites don't even know who we are. Like that like, ain't that the first thing to knowing who you are? Is knowing that you're Israelite, you dumbass. Alright. And the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of God, and the promises. Whose are the father, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Hamashiach came. Right. So the Lord came for one race of people. That is the Israelites. Who is over all blessed. Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. Not as though the word of Yahweh have taken none effect. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Are they all children? But in Isaac shall they see be called. Right? So yeah. As Abraham had eight children. But who got the blessing? Isaac. Okay? And then Jacob. Not Esau. <laughs> so what Bible are you Christians really read, man? A lot of you, you Christians, you don't even read the Bible, man. You just go to church and just believe lies. Because it's simple. Because you want to eat pork. Okay, you want to establish your own righteousness, like you somebody important or special, you know, to make it seem like you better than the next man. And and the Lord hates that spirit, man. The Lord hates that spirit. Okay. It says, 
That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of Yahweh, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed, right? So Esau is not a children of Yahweh. Ishmael is not a, 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 a son. The Ishmaelites are not children of Yahweh. Okay? And the rest of Abraham's children are children of Yahweh. Okay? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But well, this is the word of promise. At this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither have done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh according to election, right? So choosing might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but you shall have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor him that runneth, but of Yahweh that showeth mercy. All right? So yeah, yeah, you are what you are. The Lord made you an Edomite or a Hamite or a Moabite. Yes, they had no control of that. But he's God. He can do whatever he wants to do. You know? You just haven't been fully converted in your mind to understand that. And these other nations, they don't care about us, man. They want to be over us. If, if they could, they'll eradicate Israel. But Israel is the only nation that goes on platforms like this. Like, like this airheaded ass bitch right here. And try to save other races. Okay? And they ain't giving a damn about you. All right? Let's just go to show you how, how stupid these Israelites are. When the Lord said our people is stupid, hey, he, he meant that. Hey, and it shows in their actions. This woman is literally retarded, man. You people are, man, you Israelites are literally retarded. I mean, damn. I've never seen a race of people that was just so damn stupid and airheaded. You know, and I just thank you. How about Shemel Shah every day that he took me up out of that false religion, man? Okay. Well, we already know what y'all gonna do. Um, in these latter days, y'all gonna try to kill us, and some of us you are gonna kill. But hey, Lord willing, if I gotta go, I just pray that He put the spirit in me to endure it. Because man, you niggas, you niggas, done lost y'all damn minds, man. Hey, just let it be a curse and more uh, condemnation into you. Because shit, we done had it with y'all. No, I can't wait till the Lord start judging you people, man. It's especially you two thirds, cause uh, y'all 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 the worst people on earth. Uh, two third Israel, y'all the worst niggas that ever existed, In inside and out. You the wickedest. Shit, you even worse than this so called white man, if you ask me. Shit. No, no integrity. No connection to the Heavenly Father. Second Edges 6 and 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people which also come at Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, as like in the abundance of them, until a drop that falleth from a vessel. Alright. So the Lord said that these people are nothing. Okay. Um, well this is Ezra's uh, talking. But you know. This is the characteristic of the most high. They are nothing. Alright. Those people are literally nothing. The Lord made them to be our, our servants and handmaids. Okay. And our concubines. Okay. And now O oh Lord. Behold these heathens. Which have ever been reputed as nothing, have began to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, and thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy first lover, are given into their hands. If the world be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long should this endure? Right. So you got Edward just talking to the Lord, like, hey, you Lord, you say there was nothing, but why are they ruling over us? You know, because of people like this. <laughs> That's why, you know, uh, you know, stupid, airhead, white man loving Israelites, especially you northern kingdom. Woo, 
Man, you northern kingdom niggas, man. You you northern kingdom niggas think that you white. All right? And which I'm northern kingdom myself, but hey. I, I'm glad I, I, I look like look more like uh southern kingdom than northern kingdom, man. Cause man, they suffer from self hatred like a mug. Woo. They really know they're supposed to be darker complected and have um Afros, but um, so yeah, that's why they try to downplay Judah so much. And you know, everybody want to get everybody want to um, be Judah, all right? Revelation 14. Nah, where, where am I at? Nah, it's like you. First Corinthians fourteen thirty-three. For Yahweh is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Let your women learn the silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also said the law. If they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is not for it is a shame. For women to speak in the church, right? So, yeah, it's a shame. Okay? It is a shame. All right? Let's read that verse. Let's read verse 34 again. Let your woman keep silent in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also said the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. But it's a shame for women to speak in the church, right? So obedience, you know. That's the so-called black woman uh, words that she hates the most. You know, obedience, submission, quiet, <laughs> uh, humble. <laughs> Those are the words that's not in her vocabulary, you know. Had that old arrogant bitch Rihanna. It's so hard to be humble. Right? What you mean it's hard to be humble? You great you, you gave Chris Brown herpes. <laughs> you know? That's the Israelite woman for you. After all after all that. After all the all the Lord did to you, you just you just can't be humble, man. You just refuse. You refuse to be uh ashamed. You know? That's why the majority of the people that's going to die over here are women. Okay? The majority of the two-thirds is women. The evilest people on earth right now is women. This is 2nd Andrews 5 and 23. And said, O Lord, that bears rule of every wood of the earth and of all the trees thereof, thou hast chosen thee on thou hast chosen thee one only vine. Right? And I believe that's a cedar tree. And of all the lands of the world, thou hast chosen thee one pit. Right? So Israel. And of all the flowers thereof, one lily. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river. And of all builded cities, thou hast hollowed Zion unto thyself, right? So one river, I believe that's the Jordan. And city, Zion. And of all the flowers that are created, thou hast named Salakia. Of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. Right? So, and of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. And among the multitudes of people, thou hast gotten thee one people. 
And unto this people whom thou hast loved, thou gavest the law that is approved of all. Right? One people, motherfucker. One people. All right? One people. And those people are, are the Israelites. All right? Damn, like, after everything that these people done done to us, you got niggas like this that still exist. You know? And after everything that was done to the Israelites, losing everything, you people, you still want, want to be a part of our covenant, man. You know, got... You got uh, bonehead niggas like Vocab Malone. All right. And even, you know, with, with uh, lackeys like this, I'm pretty sure she a, 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 a Vocabite. <laughs> it's created a word. Or vocabian. A Vocabite. I think I like Vocabite better. A Vocabian. <laughs> but kind. All right. Cause like you got you do got Israelites to look like white people though, that Israelites to look like other nations. See, like the Lord can't say He chose one people, and then you have scriptures like this, you know, um, because you have to get the right understanding of the scriptures, so you can understand what's being written to you, you know. Uh, this is Revelation seven. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not be blown on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having a seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it is given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, that we have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads and I heard the number of them which were sealed and there were still 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel of the tribe of Judah sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Reuben was sealed 12,000 of the tribe of Gad was sealed 12,000 right so all the way down in verse 9 and after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues stood before the throne before the Lamb, clothed in white robes and palms in our hand, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation of our God which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. When I say the nations, the other, the, the, well, they look like other nations, but really they're Israelites by blood, you know, because we were scattered, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, okay? So, kind. Yeah, so Eve, shut the fuck up. You don't know nothing. Y'all watch me on Shah Shalak Rayam. To any wicked Christian out there who think that they know something and is trying to come against the truth and that's resisting the Holy Spirit. May the Lord destroy you and may you die a horrible death for coming up against your own power and your own people and being wicked. All right? Shalom.